for a very exclusive limited time only. Use code GS99 to purchase 1 million coins for the very low price of $99. Link is available in the description. Once again, this is a limited time. It will not last long. Make sure you stock up on your coins for all the new Ultimate Legends, positional heroes, and all the amazing content that they have coming out in the near future. Again, code GS99. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Just Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the new 99 limited time Chuck Bednarik that was released today. Uh, they don't have any 98s or any other pieces that came out today uh, have like they have been doing uh, the past few days dropping a 99 which is a set master and dropping some 98s that go into the set and also some other draft pieces. Um, the limited cam was the only card and the limited chuck is the only card so uh, no cards outside of uh, Bednarik but I don't believe I showcased the 98s that came out. Uh, the other day with Telvin Smith, but uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the new card that was released today 99 overall left outside linebacker and he is the only 98 to 99 overall Left outside linebacker. I believe that's just stock. I think there's like Von Miller Kevin Green and like uh, Demarcus Ware like some other guys that can obviously get up to 99 with chems But I believe this is the only guy that's stock so uh, right now, 615k, definitely cheap considering he's only been released for a handful of hours and he is that way because of his speed, right? If he had, you know, 99 speed as a linebacker, he would, <laughs> he would be going for a lot more. 85 speed, not the fastest, but I don't know about you guys, but uh, how many people truly run linebackers on their field? Like, uh, I haven't really ran linebackers on my field uh, all year unless they're on the d-line uh because they're really 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 great at pass rushing like a jadavion county like a lawrence taylor like a von miller there's so many options to choose from outside of that i go on ahead and i'll sit in over g or uh five two and five two you gotta have uh two linebackers which i hate because they got me uh <laughs> they got me spoiled with putting an over G, with being able to remove linebackers and putting safeties there. But again, I don't know about you guys. I'm sure there's a lot of outside of Philly theme teams. There might be a lot of guys that go on ahead and run a bunch of linebackers out there out of 4-3. You know, I personally don't because, in, in my opinion, you know, uh, why would you rather have, you know, a 99 Bednarik where in a formation I can go to 4-3 odd and instead of this, I can have Ed Reed, who's going to have 99 speed, 99 zone, uh, you know, good block shed, great acceleration, and all that stuff. Um, again, unless you put him on a D-line, and he's he's more of a hybrid guy. Uh, he is someone that can do a little bit of everything, all right? He's got very good block shed, so he can stuff the run. He's got a uh, very, very, very solid power move and finesse move, nowhere near as good as Kevin Green. But he's not a flat-out, all-out, uh, pass-rush kind of guy. Um, you know, again, he's a hybrid guy that can do a little bit of everything. Take a look at his zone coverage. He's 85. Like, it's not the best. But, you know, he can do everything. You know, you can feel comfortable leaving him out there in zone coverage. You can feel comfortable putting him on the D-line. You can feel comfortable uh, with him stuffing the run. He can do a little bit of everything. Like, there's nothing this card cannot do. He's He's got... A little bit of everything on his side, uh, which is good. But it's just unfortunate that you know there's not too much of a real big use for the hybrid style uh, linebacker because you know since he's good at everything, but he's not great at one specific thing. You know he's not flat out just great at only uh, pass rush. So if you're looking for a linebacker to put out there to set the edge. I'm sure you would much rather go the route of a Von Miller or a DeMarcus Sawyer or a Kevin Green, um, things of that nature. And if you're looking for someone with just flat-out zone coverage, you can replace them with the safety. Or if you have to have a linebacker, if you play 4-3 normal or 4-3 under or over, where you can't put any linebackers, substitute them for safeties, 
then uh, there's still better options there, uh, like a, even though he's not a left outside linebacker, like a, uh, you know, Shazier or Bobby Wagner or guys of that sort to where you can just put them in that position because their zone coverage is so high. Uh, but again, he, he's very good at everything, but not great at one specific thing. Um, tremendous play recto and a very high tackle. Uh, speed 85 stock, so that right there means you can add plus 5 to him. Uh, you know, highest case scenario, you know, 86 with the power up, plus 2 from Sprinter. Put the 88, plus 1 from Coach Madden, put the bad boy 89. And Legends Chem, you can put that bad boy at uh, 90. So... Uh, 90 speed is good. Again, very solid, very good at everything. Very, very, very good at everything. Just not great at one specific thing. But again, like if I'm going to go in zone coverage and I had to choose here, like I don't want Kevin Green out there in zone. I don't want DeMarcus Ware out there in zone. Bednarik would be very, very, very suitable for zone coverage. If I had to pass rush them, I'd be comfortable with Bednarik out there because with legend pass defense, you know, you can add you know, plus one to every attribute here, and then another plus three, so he's going to have, you know, 97, uh, 96 block chest, excuse me, plus three power move, or plus four, because of the power up, we're looking at 96 power move, 92 finesse move, like, he can do everything, the car is just so good, again, just not great at anything, and they also released a handful of 98 overalls, which, uh, you put in a set for a Telvin Smith, now, Telvin Smith, I think they, they could have gotten a better card to put out considering, you know, Tobin Smith just got a, a combine card, I believe, didn't he, not too long ago, uh, which is wild because he just got a card not too long ago. But um, they came out with three cards. Sullivan, which you guys see, I already got because he's a ram. <laughs> Uh, they came out with Delaney Walker and Richard Sherman and again 99 Telvin Smith. So let's take a look at Richard Sherman over here. 98 overall power upable to a 99. 92 speed, 93 excel, 98 agility, 98 jumping, 96 play rec, 95 man, 98 zone, 97 press. And this card is just very, very, very good. The only thing that this card is lacking is speed. But Niners Chem is one of the more popular team chemistries out there in the game. So many options from, you know, Sherman himself and Ronnie Lott and Bryant Young, uh, Kevin Green, Deion Sanders. There's so, so many, you know, really, really, really good players for uh, that team, Kim. Uh, and so there's, I've seen on uh, Twitter him having 99 speed due to them having um, uh, team camp, you know, like fully maxed out. Uh, me, since I don't have Niners camp anymore, Niners team camp, if I were to get him, you know, powered up would be 93 speed. Then we could add the plus three uh, from Coach Madden and Sprinter. We'll be looking at 96 speed, 99 zone, 99 man, 99 jumping. Uh, again, I, I would just prefer just a tad bit more speed uh, because, you know, the options of the, well, the opponent's options, their uh, pass options are very fast you know how many times am i going to ma get matched up against a receiver that has 95 speed where sherman has the ability to you know outrun him it's not going to happen often but when it comes to uh you know a deep blue where you can't press you know uh, it's probably your best bet but he's going to be a cloud monster you know 99 jumping powered up like he is just going to be great at jumping six foot three great height he is just going to be a monster in a cloud or, you know, any type of zone coverage where it's going to be difficult for him, for them to pass over because of his jumping ability and his height. That car looks really, really, really good. Look at that. He sold as well. And then we have uh, Delaney Walker, who has a power-up, and he, too, uh, has Niner Chem as well if you power him up. And this card looks good. 90 stock run block, which means you can add plus one with the power. Bring that up to 91. If you got zone run on him, you can bring that all the way up to 94 and then, you know, Coach Madden, you can bring it up to 95. Like, that run block is extremely high. Like, really, really, really good. Uh, the only reason why I'm not getting him is I feel like I have better run blocking options in Gronkowski, who has a 93 with Legends Camp, but his strength is a lot higher. And then we got Unk over here with higher strength as well, with, you know, just as good run blocking with lead the way. And outside of that, Delaney Walker is a shorter uh, style tight end. Uh, you know, if if I want myself a tight end, I'd much rather have someone taller. I just have Shannon Sharp because he has to lead the way. High balls are still a thing in this game. You just high point a, a tight end seam and 
very difficult to stop. <laughs> but uh, the run blocking wise, he, he looks phenomenal. Like really, really, really good. If I do end up picking up this card, it's just for his run blocking ability because it'll be really, really, really high. Uh, outside of that though, I feel like there's other options. There's faster options, there's taller options. And then we got Sullivan who doesn't even have a power up. But due to our Rams chemistry, I had his gold 79 overall just as a backup. And me being able to get this card allowed me to power down Bruce Matthews, who I originally had as Ultimate Legend. I just need his 95 just so I can get times 3 Legend Chem. And I'm able to accomplish that with his 95 power up. So I just took out the full Ultimate Legend and sold that. And then got Jonathan, uh, John Sullivan here. And just, just look at the attributes of this guy. 98 strength, 99 runners, 99 pass block, 99 pass block. Uh, just 99 run block. Just everything just looks phenomenal, doesn't it? And he is going to hopefully get a power up where he's going to have 99 strength. I mean, does blocking really matter? Probably not. And he'll have two red chems as well instead of just identifier. Uh, but yeah, he looked really, really, really good. And me running 40 out of 50 Rams, I definitely wanted to go on ahead and scoop him up because I had his gold card already, and it just you know made sense. So uh, we'll be hopefully powering him up uh, very soon. Let's take a look at that Telvin Smith though. Take a look. One dime for the one dime. All right, let's go 99. All right, so Telvin right now is going for 439. And he has 92 speed, 93 excel, 71 strength, 97 tackle, 98 play rec, 96 block shed, 71 power move, 84 finesse move. With a zone coverage of 91. So, like, you compare this to Chuck Bednarik, Bednarik, like, a plethora of more speed, right? Like, Telvin Smith is going to have 90, what, 96 speed out there. Um, extremely high play rec, very good height. He was actually the first linebacker in the game to get pick specialist, which is definitely glitchy. He gets very good animations. Because of his catching ability, his zone coverage is extremely good. Uh, he's not a pass rushing guy, but his block shed is extremely high. See that? That's why I like Bed Bednarik is just like he's such a good card that's unfortunately won't get used because he's just so good at everything, but not great at anything. To where uh, it makes it difficult to want to use him. Like uh, Telvin Smith has terrible, terrible pass rushing stats, right? So I wouldn't pass rush him at all anywhere. But six foot three, 96 speed, fully maxed out, very high zone coverage. I can leave him on his own. You know, he'll have 96 zone out there. Uh, you can use him as a user with his great speed and his height and his pick specialist ability. Like, it just sucks to see uh, Bednarik. When I'm looking, you know, like, I really want this card because it's so good. But it's just not like, it, it's, there's just better options out there for where I would want him. Like, for one, I don't put, have any linebackers out on the field unless it's 5-2. And there I have Shazier and Ogletree. And both of those guys are faster. Both of those guys have better zone coverage. Both of those guys are more suitable to stop the pass than Bednarik. Um, even though Bednarik has way better uh, block shed pass rushing attributes. But if I, if I got him as a pass rusher, I'm like, he's not better than Kevin Green. He's not better than d -Wear. He's not better than Clowney. He's not better than... Uh, you know, all the other guys that I could put on the edge instead. But anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on today's content. Um, we will be uh, seeing who it is they're going to drop to. I don't know if they're going to keep dropping. I personally like the content with, that they drop every single day like this. Um, you know, and a 98 overall set uh, that, you know, they're delivering very high cards every single day. One is making... Uh, you know, good cards even cheaper because, you know, as soon as uh, Telvin Smith comes out, that's going to drop other 99 overall. Uh, that's going to drop other linebackers. Just, you know, the, the, you know, Cam Newton comes out, Michael Vick price drops down some and things like that. It just brings price down of other cards, even if you're not interested in the card that did come out. But let me know your thoughts and opinions, man. It's your boy Jess. We're going to go ahead and have a signing out. Appreciate the support as always. Until next time, peace.